Say what's cracking YouTube. It's your boy 16 to life and I'm back like I'm on a pro violation. Y'all down. Now for those of y'all that's new to my page, in 1994 I got arrested. I was eventually sentenced to 16 years plus life and I served 24 years straight in the California prison system. Now let's hop right up into this video. So as of yesterday, we have some very sad, unfortunate news. You have a dude known as Anthony Mims, real name Anthony Mims, excuse me. His nickname is Big Jook, and he was shot and killed in Memphis, Tennessee. Big Jook is the older brother of well-known Memphis rapper, businessman, Young Gotti. A deadly shooting in Hickory Hill with connections to Memphis rapper Yo Gotti. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live tonight from St. Francis Hospital. That's where the victims were taken. Lakia, what were you able to find out? Good evening to you. Good evening, Daniel. Well, at least five police sources have confirmed with Fox 13 that the person killed is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Now, Big Jook is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Now, we were at that scene earlier tonight. Police say two men were shot outside Perion's restaurant and event center around 4.15. Now, that's on Winchester near Kirby. According to the Memphis Police Department, the victim was inside a vehicle at the time and was brought here to St. Francis Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Now, I'm also learning there was a second person who was shot and was also taken to the hospital. It has not been confirmed who the second person is, but we do know it is a man, and he was airlifted to Regional 1 in critical condition. Now, the he also owns the label that he raps under and not only is he an owner but he has signed several prominent rappers some of those rappers being glorilla uh money bag yo mozzie and black youngster just to name a few a lot of people believe that his brother big jook has lost his life due to an ongoing situation out there in memphis ever since the passing of a rapper who was also from memphis by the name of young Dolph, there has been an extreme amount of violence going on Young Dolph started releasing mixtapes in 2008. Um, around 2010, he dropped a mixtape that was known as Welcome to Dolph World. Later on in 2010, he went on to create his own independent music label, which was known as Paper Route Empire. At some point in time, his music and Young Dolph came to the attention of Yo Gotti. Uh, Yo Gotti had been rapping and doing music since around 2000. I believe at some point he was associated with Birdman from Cash Money. Around 2013, he went into a business relationship with L.A. Reid and eventually also Jay-Z. Around 2014, Yo Gotti approached Young Dolph about signing to his record label. Yo Gotti was extremely interested in promoting and signing a lot of the hot Memphis rappers, but by that time, Young Dolph had been doing his thing. He had been creating music, dropping music, and his name was becoming more and more popular in, in the rap community, hip hop. So he, for whatever reason, he chose to decline signing with Young Gotti. Around 2015, Young Dolph was featured on a very popular song with the rapper from California, OT Genesis. The song was named Cut It, and the song ended up going double platinum, and it peaked at number 35 on the Billboard charts. For whatever reason, after Young Dolph refused to sign to Young Gotti, eventually a beef and a feud developed between the two. Somewhere in February around 2016, after Dolph released a diss song in which he not only talked about Yo Gotti, but his brother Big Jook, they both happened to be in Charlotte, North Carolina to perform at a nightclub. A car approached Dolph's vehicle, which was an SUV, and over 100 shots was fired at the vehicle. Uh, Dolph was unharmed due to the vehicle being bulletproof. A little later, he released a song called 100 Rounds, and basically where he was taunting those who tried to kill him and basically said whoever it was, they took a big loss. Late in September of 2017, young Dolph happened to be in Hollywood, leaving a hotel. He was approached by a few men. They got into an altercation. He was knocked down. He was shot several times and it left him in critical condition. He eventually recovered, and due to he was unwilling to provide information on who shot him, nobody was charged in that. The beef between the two artists seemingly had died down. Then suddenly, on November the 17th, 2021, young Dolph, who happened to be back in Memphis, was going to a bakery out there to buy some cookies. 
He was ambushed, shot, I believe, 22 times, and he was killed. Uh, that's when things really got extremely tricky and extremely violent out there in Memphis. I believe Memphis already has the highest crime rate per capita in the United States. This year, the city of Memphis set a record for the most people murdered in one year. And after the passing of Young Dolph, that's when things extremely got violent. Obviously, Young Dolph had a lot of people out there who loved him in Memphis, and there were a lot of shootings and deaths in which a lot of people claimed were retaliation shootings. About 10 days after Young Dolph was killed, there was a Memphis comedian by the name of Darian D. Money Childs. Some people said he made some negative comments or he made jokes or he made fun about the passing of Young Dolph. And he also was shot and lost his life at a gas station out there in Memphis. September 24th, 2022, there was a rapper who rapped under the name of Lotta Cash Desto. And even though she was from Memphis at the time, she was living in Houston. She was out that night with friends. Someone approached her SUV, let off several shots. And unfortunately, she too lost her life as well. Well, about three weeks later, her father was arrested and charged with the orchestration of the murder of young Dolph. And tonight we're finding out more about now the third suspect arrested in this case, Hernandez Govan. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon is joining us in our newsroom tonight. Dominique, Govan's daughter, she was also a rapper, but she was killed in Houston in September. Yes, yeah, she went by a lot of cash, Desto, but her real name, Destiny Govan. Houston police say the 25-year-old was shot and killed in Houston September 24th, early that morning. Investigators say Govan and her friend were in their vehicle, stopped behind a vehicle at a traffic light. Police say two men got out of the vehicle and started shooting at the women. We're told the passenger was also shot but survived her injuries. And Lotta Cash Desto was signed to Lil Uzi Vert. He spoke at her funeral. About a month after the murder, Hernandez Govan posted on Facebook, I think I cursed you, Destiny, with my lifestyle. I apologize, baby. As we reported earlier, Govan has dozens of criminal charges in his past, ranging from drug possession to aggravated assault. And as you saw there, in a post he put up on social media, he stated something along the lines of, he believed that his lifestyle cursed his daughter, and he was extremely sorry about that. Um, imagine the pain that that guy must hold on to, just feeling in his heart that the way that he was living, the lifestyle that he was living, the things that he was involved in, ultimately led to the death of his 25-year-old daughter, who was an aspiring music artist, and she was signed to the rapper Little Uzi Vert's record label. Which brings us to the situation yesterday, when you have Big Jook, who was shot and he passed away. The police who are investigating the shooting definitely feel that he was targeted. And it has been reported by some publications that also the mother of Big Jook and Yo Gotti was also in the backseat of the car. And once the shooting started, she jumped out and fortunately was able to get away with her life. So things have definitely got extremely hectic out there in Memphis, you know. It's sad to think about all these shootings and how they're affecting not only Young Dolph's family and friends, but also Yo Gotti's family and friends, Big Jug's family and friends, and the entire city of Memphis as well. And it's sad when you think about how these artists have worked long and hard to build a successful music career, but then they get caught up in this street beef, and it unfortunately have led to the deaths of so many people. It seems like things are only going to get much worse before they get better. At the time of Young Dolph's passing, it was estimated that he was worth $3 million. Um, Yo Gotti is estimated that he's worth $45 million. And like I said, his brother Big Jook was a co-founder of their record label. Um, he was a businessman as well. And so realistically, things definitely do have the potential to get worse. My condolences go out not only to Big Jook, his family, Yo Gotti's family, but also the family of Young Dolph his friends and loved ones as well, man. So anyway, you already know who it is. It's your boy 16 to life. Resume normal program.